Hi, in the previous uh, videos, we've been looking at the box model in HTML and CSS and how to add padding and borders to different elements on a web page. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to specify margins around elements on a web page. So remember that each element on a web page is considered a box and uh, around the content within that box, you can have a spacing, which is called padding. You can then have a border around that and then the spacing uh, outside of the the box is called the margin and that's spacing between that uh, box and any other box or element on the web page so padding's the space around the content borders go around the padding and content and then margin is space around the outside of the border and you can use css code to add a margin to any any element on your web page so things like headings paragraphs images um, different columns or sections on the web page um, and you can just do that with CSS code. So on this page, we have two headings, a paragraph and an image. If we go and have a look at the HTML code, there it is, two headings, a paragraph and then an image. And in the CSS code that we have linked over here, we've got um, using the font family Arial for the entire web page, the body of the web page, just to get rid of that uh, times font. Okay, so let's have a look at how to add um, margins to different um, elements on the page. Now, one thing I'll just mention before we get started on looking at different elements on the page, sometimes um, you can see a margin around the edge of the page, especially if you set a background color. Um, so if I said like light blue background color, sometimes, and it might depend on what browser you're using, you might see a white edge around the edge of the page or around the window. On the, inside the window here. Um, and if you wanted to get rid of that, uh, you can say margin zero. All right? And that completely gets rid of the margin around the edge of the, the page. All right, I'll undo that for now. I don't really want that background color, but that's just something to, to um, be aware of that you can set the margin of the whole page to zero if you want to get rid of any white strip that might be around the edge of the page. Okay, so now, um, oh, and actually we can also specify while we're looking at the body of the page, we can also specify um, a border as well for the actual whole web page. All right, and then we can actually see here that's um, the margin outside the border there. So that's the actual spacing there. We've got our border here, and then we've got um, no padding really uh, inside um, the body of the page here. Okay, but just to be aware, we can add borders there as well. Okay, so let's um, let's start with the heading first to have a look at some examples here. So we'll use that H1 heading selector and we'll just set the background color to something that'll stand out like orange. And we'll add some padding so we can see spacing in, inside the box. And then we can say border one pixel solid uh, red, just to add a border. Um, now, to add uh, margin, we can do it like this. We just say margin and we can specify an amount, for example, 50 pixels. All right, now what that'll do is add a margin around all sides of this uh, heading uh, on the top, bottom, left and right, we've got a 50 pixel margin. So we can see we've got the content, then we've got padding around that content. We've got a border there, a red border. And then we've got margin around oh, the outside of the border. Okay, so that's one example. Now we'll look at another example for our H2 size heading. Uh, this time we'll go with a background color of yellow, uh, padding of same, we'll go 20 pixels. Um, now, just like we looked at uh, when we were looking at padding and, and margins in the, um, sorry, padding and borders in the last two tutorials where we could specify each side individually, we can do the same with margins. So we could say for this one, we could say margin uh, left, we might say 20 pixels, margin right, might do 20 pixels. Uh, and then we might do for margin top, maybe 10 pixels, because there's already a margin uh, on the bottom of the heading above. So margin top 10 pixels, and maybe margin bottom, we might do five pixels. Okay, so now this uh, yellow box with the heading uh, has a margin 
but it has different amount of margin on uh, each side there. Okay, um, what about the paragraph? Same deal, but in this example, I'm gonna show you uh, how to specify all of those different sides there in one line of code. So for this one, we'll just go background color, light blue, uh, padding again, 20 pixels. All right, now for the um, border, we'll just go, we'll just set up a border here, one, one pixel solid black, um, just so we can see it's standing out. We might do that for uh, this one as well. One pixel solid black. Okay, just so we can see that standing out. Um, now we can say margin, and here we can do in this order, top, right, bottom, and left, specif um, specifying the, the different um, sides of this box. So we could say 10 pixels for the top and then a space, 30 pixels for the right. Uh, we might go 10 pixels for the bottom and then 30 pixels for the left. So that's how you can specify the margin around all four sides in one line of code. We've got top, right, bottom, and left. I'll save and refresh. And there we go. All right, now we've got different amounts of margins here. So that's why the content's kind of all over the place. And remember, you can uh, apply this to anything. So we could specify a margin of maybe 10 pixels for the image. All right. And also don't forget that you can use other units as well. So you can use a percent um, value instead if you wanted. So we've got 10% margin around this this image now okay so that's basically it for this tutorial that's how to add um, a margin to different elements on a web page thanks for watching